the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. I'm Cassie, if you are, have not been here before, but it looks like we have some very familiar names in there. We've got Pam, hello Pam, hi Carol, hi Melissa, and James, who happens to be, uh, he's got to go into work in a little bit, but you know, off for a little bit. Hello Deborah and Denise, it's so good to see everybody. As the description said, we're going to be doing a sneak peek because there is a release tomorrow and it is a beautiful one. Um, so I know, yeah, this is gonna be the last one for a while. As you can already see, we've got stuff is off of the wall. Um, I, well, I don't wanna say it's completely bare because it's not. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do, um, but yes. All right, so uh, we are gonna be sneak peeking the scripty wedding day die which means I can't really show you the die, but I'm gonna show you what I've die cut out with it. And I have cut out best wishes, so I'm not actually gonna do a wedding card today. Um, hi, Tara, how's it going? And uh, so I'm, I'm gonna be using just part of it. There's actually quite a few words in this die set, but I'm just using best wishes. And we've got shadows, we've got the wording itself. Um, I just kinda stuck it back in place so that I would have it. But we're also going to do some coloring. And I um, can't show you this one either because it'll be released tomorrow. But this stamp is from the Pretty Wonderful stamp set. And I think it's pretty beautiful for sure. Um, I'm also going to be using this stencil. This is the Slimline Stripes stencil. It's got two stencils to it. I just have this out because I've already sprayed it with some pixie spray. And then I went ahead and die cut out my panel, we're making an A7 card out of the Modern Embossed A7 layers. And then I also have the oval die. This is the um, A2 Foundations Oval Stencil. So it's got lots of stencils in there, all oval, and all of the masks, and we're gonna use one of those masks. Rainy but warm, oh. Ugh. It's gonna be in the 80s today, I'm actually wearing shorts. I have a long sleeve shirt on, but we're, we got shorts. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and, and color. I am going to do Prismacolor pencils today. I know, the flowers are just gorgeous. I'm telling you, that's why I was like, well, I know 
this one wasn't necessarily my peak day, but this one I think was already peaked. So we are going to just color today. Um, and I've pulled out a few colors. I made sure all my Prismacolors were nice and sharp. Yes, prom definitely looked like a success, Tara. She was gorgeous. Mama did a good job on her hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the vase and I've picked out some blues for this. Um, if anybody actually wants to know what the blues are, go ahead and leave that down or make a comment and I will show you or tell you. But we're gonna start off with our lightest color. I'm not using Gamsol, it's packed away. So we're just going to uh, color this in and uh, how I do my pencils, I guess everybody probably does this, is I start with a very light hand and you work your way up. And sometimes I just use like little circles. Um, and you could see a lot of the pencil line here. I am going to try and make it look like there is a line for like where the light might hit it, that this might be like a glass face and maybe not matte finish. So I'm just kind of putting some color down. And you work in layers just like watercolor or pretty much any other medium. And then I'll come in on this side and do the same thing. It's so funny how whenever I color, I'm always like, this looks like trash until it doesn't. <laughs> so I, as I always say, just I encourage you to just keep coloring for sure. Oh, good. She had a good time. Awesome. So what is everybody up to on this lovely Wednesday afternoon? I guess for some of y'all, it's morning. Did I see right that Deborah is from Oregon? Some of y'all are, yeah, it's still morning there. And then I'm coming in with my darker color and how I like to do it, and again, it actually doesn't look great right now, but um, because this is a rounded object, I like to not go all the way to the edge quite yet. So that way it gives the illusion that it is rounded. I mean, other than you can actually see that it's rounded. Uh, this just kind of helps with that, makes it look a little bit more 3D, I guess. Watching you and getting ready for work. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> he was busy in the garage today. All right, coming in with my lighter color. Going to blend this edge just a tiny bit. And with pencil, sometimes it's good to just go at different angles so that you don't have those pencil lines, unless that's what you're going for. Sometimes I like the pencil lines. <laughs> Got my heat packs on to warm up my hips before I ride my stationary bike. Oh, good for you. Can I ask what kind you ride, Pam? I rode this morning too. Coming in with the darker one. And again, looks like trash before it looks like anything. Oh well. And normally I think I would try to keep this fairly straight for y'all, but I'm not doing a good job of that either. Okay. Yes, very good for that. Oh, you're cooking, nice. I haven't done that. Well, I okay, I shouldn't say that. I made breakfast this morning because James was in the garage, so I made him breakfast, more of a brunch, because I knew he'd forget to eat otherwise. And as I've said before, it's kind of like, if anybody has ever watched Chopped at this point, it's kind of like, what do we have in the freezer? What's in the fridge? We have to make something with that. Recumbent bike, easier on the back. Nothing fancy, a really basic model. Well, good for you. That's important. It really is. I am big proponent for that if you can do it. I love my bike. It has changed things for me. So, All right. 
the boys are asleep in here, and by boys I mean my cats. Just sweet potato casserole and jello. That sounds pretty amazing, Deborah. I like it. Okay. Oops. And this is why it's kind of important to just go light-handed when you're doing it. And then you can come in and go a little darker in areas. I know Gamsol would probably really blend this very, very well. Um, I know it would, but I don't have that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I had already stamped this out. I used some uh, Blackout Ink by Ink on 3. <laughs> right, Carol? <laughs> I never forget. I wish I could forget. Last night I was like a billy goat, so I woke up in the middle of the night with my stomach hurting. I'm like, you need to stop eating snacks late at night. But here we are. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I stamped this on Express It cardstock. It's a nice, smooth cardstock. It's really good for alcohol markers, and I find that I really like it for my pencils as well. I also like doing pencil on watercolor paper, but that's also when I'm trying to go for a completely different look, you know. Okay, so let's blend that out with a little bit of white. Oops. And like I said, it, and I'm not doing the best job, am I? You get the, the gist, I know you do, but Gamsol would definitely work really well, which is like, you know, mineral spirits. To melt, It melts the pencil really, really nicely. Eventually though, with pencil, you're gonna build up, you may build up enough wax that it'll be hard to um, blend or add any more color to it, if that makes sense. Okay, and then we'll just do a little bit more on this edge. Okay. Hey, Kate. I worked myself up to three 30 minute rides a week. Now I'm working on being consistent with the speed. Hey. That's awesome, Pam. You got to do it. You know, you got to start somewhere. Pulled your pencils out the other day and haven't used them, but pulled them out. Well, Tara, that, you know, you got to make your steps, small steps, right? Okay. And then I'm going to color one of the flowers here. I say one because if I just sat here and colored, which I would love to do, um, we would be here for hours. Well, not hours, but this is an image that takes a little bit of time especially with pencil, which is why I think sometimes people don't pull out their pencils because it does take a little bit of time. And I am one of those that definitely tries to rush things. So once again, I've used my lightest pinky purple color here. And just putting that down very lightly. Doesn't look good at all. So once again, I encourage when you're doing your pencils, stick with it. Same thing with Copics or any medium, really. I found that art is a matter of patience sometimes. Okay. So I've got my first little layer. And now we're going to come in with a darker purple. And we're just going to add it wherever I think the shadowing would be. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm still thinking about what Carol said. How do you forget to eat? <laughs> uh, I should have forgotten to eat today with the way my stomach was hurting with what I ate last night. Golly. I, and I'm also like, well, I got to clean out the fridge. So what, eat it all? <laughs> Do you, Deborah? Awesome. I really like my pencils too. I have a couple different kinds. I have the Prismacolor. I also have the Arteza ones, which I think are great too. They don't break as easily, I've noticed, as my Prismacolors do. Uh, but the reason I grabbed these is because they're actually, they were sitting right here on my cart. James was going to help pack them up yesterday, and I was like, no, we have to leave those out. I'm coloring with them. And then if I pack everything else away, then I'll be like, what do I do with these? 
and they may never reunite, you know. Okay, so again, doesn't look great. I really do enjoy it. I just, yeah, Melissa, I'm not doing it as much as I should be, I guess. Just like anything, to get better at it, you got to practice. You were probably completely covering. Hope that's not the case. And I'm just kind of trying to blend that edge, and then I'll go in a little softer, even softer. It's getting that desired look. There we go. It's like I've run out of time, you know? I want to do all the things. I want to play with all the mediums, but there's just only so much time. And I don't get to all of them, so. Pace yourself, I guess. I do apologize for the sniffles. It is so humid here right now. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more, you know, as far as deepening that color in a few areas. And then I want to bring in some of the green. So I can show you that one actually, the green I did, was is going to be pretty simple. Okay. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Okay, there we go. And now we'll bring in our green. Two colors, I've got like a limey color. Thanks, Carol. It's so fun. I love seeing, you know, like I said, when you actually see it come together how you envisioned in your mind, it's so much more rewarding than, like when you first get started and you're like, oh, this is not what I thought this was going. You're having that issue too. I just bought my first ever inkjet Canon printer. My eyes are twinkling. So many mediums to play. Right? So much, Kate. I just wanna, I want to do it all. And I wanna play with all the machines and I wanna play with all the stamps and I wanna play with all the different kinds of art too, really. I love, I love it all. Like, I just love it all. a little bit so all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually stop there and I'll show you what the end result is and I use the matching die and I have to tell you I love this matching die because it cuts out little inside pieces but this is what I did okay and look at that that dye that goes along with this, oh my goodness. Yeah, right, James. All the little endeavors I want to jump into cost him money. <laughs> so that's why I don't have it all. Um, but anyway, yes. And I was telling him as we were packing things up yesterday, I'm like, I don't even have all the Distress Oxide sprays or Distress spray stains. He's like, you don't. I mean, there's so many here, but it is what it is. All right, so there is what we did. Um... And again, I'm not, I'm not showing you the whole bit of coloring simply because I really am only supposed to be on for about 30 minutes. Okay, so now let's, now that we've got our, our little floral bouquet already, <laughs> exactly, let's do our background. So again, and I've used the, I don't think I used, did I use the biggest? I don't think I used the biggest one. Let's see. Here is my, nope, I did not use the biggest one. And what I always say about this A7 die is that I love how it does this really cool embossed edge. Thanks, Deborah. So I love that embossed edge so much. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my tonic platform. I'm gonna use a little bit of tape to tack this down. And then I'm gonna bring in the oval. So I'm gonna bring in the biggest oval. That's the one that's gonna be about that size, so that'll work. I guess I gotta tack that down too, huh? And then, like I said, I already sprayed this with Pixie Spray on this side, so the Pixie Spray makes it, you know, a little tacky, which is good. So let's, because this is a little bit more intricate stencil. 
So the stencil cut that out. No fussy cutting. No, it wasn't a stencil. It was the die. Um, thank you for asking, James. Thanks, Pam. Yes, it was the die. I just can't show it all to you because it's going to be released tomorrow. I think that's straight-ish. We'll see. Okay, and then let's just put this down. And I'm thinking I'm going to do, and that may not stick super great, but is what it is. I'm going to do, let's do, let's do some, like a yellowy color, yellowy orange. And then with this stencil, I have found the best way is just to kind of go back and forth. If you do circular motions, which I typically do when I'm doing stencils, you, you can move it even if you didn't, I mean, even if you used pixie spray, like I don't know if you saw that I was doing that. But this works great, really. That's what you meant. I, I thought that's what you meant, but oops. There we go. It's so cool that the die cut. Yes, uh, that's what I thought. I was actually really surprised, Carol, because I wasn't paying attention when I stuck the die down and ran it through the die cutting machine. And I was like, oh, it cuts out the inside. I just think that's, it's just those little details, you know. And I will say that there are some really nice sentiments that go with it. And there's matching dies for the sentiments. So that one, yeah, would have definitely been on my list which is why I had to use it to show you guys. Okay. Okay. I think, I think we're good. Maybe I'll do a little around the circle or the oval. Okay. Let's pull this away a little bit and kind of see. Ooh, okay. I'm happy with that. So we'll stick this over here to clean later so that you guys don't have to see me doing all that. We'll put this away. Not the lid. <laughs> Did you see I tried to put the magnet on there? Okay. Yes. Oh, the release. Yeah, I don't have a release video for you, but there will be one here on this channel. And I know that the ever wonderful Carrie Rhodes has one as well. I believe that she will have one on her channel. So, um, yes. I just, I just ran out of time, so didn't have time. Check it out. And so we've got this really cool um, stencil background that's one layer. And I can already tell I didn't put it on there very straight, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to clean that off later too. Lots of cleaning later. Okay. And then look at that. Ooh, that's so fun. All right, so let's bring in the die cut that you came here to sneaky peeky. I put a ruler across stencils like the top to hold down those stripes. Oh, that's actually really smart, Pam. Dang, girl, that's nice. Okay, so again, here they are. I just thought these colors because, you know, I already had stuff planned. So let's just pop those out. And once again, this is the best wishes. And another easy thing you could do, which I've said before, is you can um, use like sticker paper, like a Xyron sticker machine, and then you just basically turn these into stickers. And so then they're really easy to stick down, but they're not really hard anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna use some tweezers, some reverse tweezers that is. And then we'll just use a little bit of liquid glue Right, Melissa? That's kind of what I was thinking. Originally, I was just going to go ahead and do that entire background, and then I was like, oh, wait. Let's... Or use like an oval die, but then I was like, oh, I like this. I mean, sometimes I really love adding bulk, and sometimes I really don't, so... And then there's best. So it is a wedding die set, but I think it works. I mean, obviously I'm using it for something that's not a wedding. 
I mean, you could give this as a wedding card, I suppose. Let's pull that off. Oh no, do we lose our... We may have lost the top. Did we? Nope, it's there. Whoo, got a little worried. Got a little worried, y'all. Almost lost the tittle. Okay. Oh, and it looks like I didn't die cut it very well. Nope, I did. It's fine. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. Just using my pickup stick to pop all the little pieces out. One of the things I love is that these little scripty dies, they all obviously are the same um, font. So you can do some mixing and matching if you have other ones, which is fun. Wasn't sure about the oval at first, but wow. Oh, thanks, Carol. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those where I like to see it. I have a visual in my head, but that doesn't really always translate. Okay. Getting there. <laughs> and in all honesty, I don't know if I'm in love with this color combo that I picked, but we're here now. Okay. I'm going to put a dot of glue there so that way I can pick up my top to my eye. So glad I didn't lose it. It's always a concern, right? There we go. Mm. And I am not, you know, I want to use foam tape. Mm, should I use it? Ooh, should I? Yes, Deborah. That's, I uh, love when dyes have more than one use for sure. Unless it's like, um, you know, something I'm using on the constant basis. You know, obviously I don't always know people getting married, but people are always having birthdays, thankfully. Just, you know, the more you have, the longer you live, right? The picture in your head is almost always better than the execution. Girl, same. Oh, I should have. <laughs> Melissa, I wish I had read that first. I still could, I guess. I think I'm just... <laughs> I put so much dang glue on there. There we go. Oh, darn it. I should have used foam tape. Everybody wants foam tape. Sorry, y'all. That's what I need to do. I need to put out on Instagram, like, hey, should I use this or this? And then let y'all pick what I'm going to make, basically. Like, should I use this stamp or this stamp? Well, I'm, I messed up, y'all. I should have asked and waited for an answer. Okay. Because it definitely probably would have looked even better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Pam, same, same Z's. Okay. So let's attach this down. Now I did pull out an embellishment and I don't know if it matches that great. So I may pick a different one, but I do have this one linked down below. Uh, the only things that aren't linked down below are the things that are going to be released tomorrow. Cause I don't have a link for you. So there's that. Let me look and see if this actually matches. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. I actually like that. It doesn't look like it does on the camera, but up in person. Thanks, Deborah. I'm so glad, Pam. I... Okay, yeah, that is, ooh, that's fun. Okay, let's pick all of our little pieces up before I start. I, I cannot, I don't know. Like, so obviously I'm gonna have to pull everything out of this room. I'm not really looking forward to how messy it's gonna be. Like to see how much like scrap paper, like tiny pieces are on the floor. I'm so glad. All right, okay, so let's. Oh, <laughs> struggling. There we go. There we go. 
and we'll just put a few down. I am like obsessed with these. We'll probably go a little bit nutso putting them on too, because I really love them. Well, let's do a small one. Hmm. Y'all know I struggle with this. Purple and yellow. Me too. Ooh. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a little concerned. My husband's going to be like, what do you do in here? As it is. So we do have a um, shark vacuum that comes in to the bedroom or yeah, to the, the craft room. And obviously uh, I don't always let it in here because if I'm filming or something like that. So there are days it doesn't get in and that's just, just how it is. But should I put more? I'm just going crazy. Maybe I should stop. Maybe I should stop. I'm going to do it. Maybe I should put a few more over there because it's got to be visually pleasing, right? Okay. I wonder if you'll find any missing dyes underneath anything. Oh, I always lose them, Pam. I, I have spent, because I'm still, I don't, it's like I don't learn my lesson. I'll cut my dyes over the trash can and then like drop it in there. And then I've got to spend another hour like looking for these little dyes. It's happened more than once. You'd think I'd learn. No. Nope. School of Hard Knocks. I fail. Okay. Alrighty. I think we are there. I may go back later and stamp that on the inside, but we are getting close to time. So I like that I have one of these already started. So now I can go back and color it again later. But there is our card. I love it. Yeah, there is a thought, Kate. Ooh. Yeah, the itty bitty stamps sometimes as well. Deborah, there's my trash can's probably eating a lot of that. But so there it is. Oh, I just love these together. Uh, and I can't wait for you to got for you guys to see everything that's being released tomorrow. It's gonna be so fun. Um, so be sure. Yes, they disappear into the great beyond. It's like worse than socks in the dryer. <laughs> it's definitely worse than socks in the dryer because if you lose a stamp, you're like, oh my gosh, do I have to buy the whole stamp set? Thank you, Carol. I'm so glad y'all like it. Um, so I'm going to let y'all go, but come back tomorrow to the Trinity Stamps page and check out all the stuff that's going to be released. I'm probably hanging out with the missing <laughs> Yes, Pam. <laughs> thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Deborah. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, James. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye out. Also, this will be my last live with Trinity for a while, not my last one, but it, it may be about a month or so before I'm back up and running. Uh, got to get everything situated on the other end and we don't have a house yet. So, um, all the, all the things anyway, again, come back, check it out. You're going to be so pleasantly surprised. Uh, go off and be amazingly creative. Like I know that you are, and I will see you later on and know that you're loved. Bye everybody. Thank you.